see this is the problem he just bashed into that motorcycle look the MMDA is trying to apprehend him now okay there you go he's been brought to a stop this guy just arrived now to rescue the tricycle he has a two-way radio he said he doesn't work for the barangay but some kind of local police but not BMP so I don't know community officer of some sort he arrived along with that barangay to nod the driver just came back now he hasn't shown a license or even an ID what he showed is a ticket written out to this vehicle in August an unpaid ticket it took a while because the towing crews are so busy but they're taking this one away now Good morning everyone, MMDA back on the road. Right now they're in Manila City issuing tickets to illegally parked vehicles. A lot of people recently have been saying, how about if you put the sign in Tagalog or Filipino? It doesn't really make a difference. There's still a lot of parked vehicles on the road, on the sidewalk, because they really don't want to pay for parking. Of course, it's not just motorcycles and tricycles, there's also cars that are illegally parked. The thing with writing out tickets to plate numbers, especially for tricycles, is often they're not actually renewing their registration. So it doesn't matter how many tickets you write, the only thing that actually works is towing and impounding. And of course, most of these tricycles don't have license plates anyway. Imagine driving around all day, every day, offering public transport, and they don't even have license plates. One of them has a license plate see this license plate how would you trace that back to a vehicle absolutely impossible no body number on the tricycle either That's so what the enforcers are doing they're using the engine number or the chassis number they put that on the ticket and then it gets loaded onto the tow truck it's the same with these little re tricycles they're meant to have license plates and meant to have a registration of lto but again as you can see there's no plates no way to identify them really if you go along the road it's the same thing a lot more of them i remember before when a tricycle hit into a private car ran away the only reason he was captured is because the mmda were there but of course all he did was scratched his head and said sorry i don't have any money to pay for the damage so that's how it goes you'll see some of them are already being loaded onto the tow trucks these are not cheap someone spent a lot of money on these but they get that money back because they're operating as public transport if they show a license they really can't drive away with just a ticket although you would hope that one day they'll add license plates to their vehicles the tow truck is coming in now for this one they already have the bar connected to the car bar connected to the car that sounds nice you see this taxi is about to be pulled behind the tow truck it picked up a lot of tricycles again most of them don't have plates or they have a plate like this how are you going to trace that back or this one how will you trace that more tricycles being impounded most of them can't show a license what will happen when they're involved in an accident do you think they'll take responsibility if they can't show a license if they don't have a plate if maybe there's no registration the barangay Tanod is again trying to assist with this one no plate and so far no one's been able to show a license maybe there is a license but so far they haven't shown one this is actually one of the only ones that has a plate attached it's hard to improve the standard of public transport if you turn a blind eye to this most of them don't have plates they can't show registration driver's license when they have an accident they just scratch their head not only do commuters lose out but other motorists on the road lose out because it's a common problem really unfortunate even with the rain people are taking the risk of riding without helmets no license plate either plus driving in slippers a lot of people think these are actually electric they're not electric they have 200 cc gasoline motors inside and they're meant to be registered they're meant to have a plate driver's license everything like that what kind of license plate is that kagawa and then he's driving around without a crash helmet we're flagging down that rider now. He's wearing a substandard crash helmet. It's not even worn properly. Aside from that, he's wearing slippers. So if you add both of those violations together, 3,500 pesos, very expensive. Some people have said, why don't you just allow people to wear slippers when it's raining? 
The problem is when it's raining, that's when there's a lot more accidents on the road and you actually need to be wearing the right gear. It's even more important. Here comes another motorcycle, no crash helmet on the back, unauthorized crash helmet on the front. I could be wrong about that helmet. There are some helmets that look like that and have ICC or PS mark. Anyway, they handed over the license now and I heard the enforcer explaining you can pay it by a center. You'll see a sign here, Palanca Bridge, and then directly below it, a vehicle parked on the sidewalk. So the towing crew are here now to lift it up. Although, looks like there might be a driver, so maybe he'll just show a license and have a ticket. I didn't realize they already had the tow bar connected at the front, so it is too late, it'll get towed away. Right now they're issuing a ticket to this rider, no crash helmet. And just behind, they're looking at this vehicle parked on the sidewalk. The crazy thing is, there's a lot of empty parking spaces here at McDonald's. He just doesn't want to use them. Instead, he parked on the sidewalk. And they just stopped that motorcycle. Daddy has a full face helmet. Mummy has an unauthorized helmet. And baby has no protection at all. Very sad to see on a regular basis. And a little further along the street, you'll see there's no more sidewalk because of these parked vehicles. At first they told enforcers, hey, we have a mower with the city. But when they checked it, it expired in October. Uh, I don't know the exact date, but either way, we're in November right now. This rider was flagged down for the substandard helmet. The money he saved on that helmet is now wasted because the penalty is 3,000 pesos. Could have bought a nice helmet with that money. This passenger on the back has a flimsy piece of plastic protecting their head. Obviously it wouldn't really do much in the case of an accident. As for the license plate, it's pretty much unreadable. It's silver on silver. So they'll say, hey, I have a plate. Yeah, you have a plate, but it cannot really be read. Anyway, substandard unauthorized helmet, 3,000 pesos. It's really better to just buy a legit helmet, even just for your own safety, not just the money, but for your own safety, that's the more important thing.